Hey everyone, this morning we're going to harvest some of our lettuce. We like to harvest in the morning because the lettuce is um, the crispest in the morning. For deciding on which heads are ready to harvest, it's not really a science. You can just look at what size they are and harvest them based on that. So we have several of them here that are plenty big to harvest. Some are even bigger than when we would normally harvest. So. The whole back row here looks pretty good size for harvesting. The process for harvesting is pretty easy. We use just a tray to catch the water from um, any drippage from the roots. But you find the ones that you want to harvest, you kind of tuck your hand underneath, and then you can just pull them right out with all the roots. And there we go, we've got a nice fresh head of lettuce. Harvest another one here. Grab the romaine. We have several different types of lettuce here. We've got some romaine, we've got some leaf lettuce, um, we've got some Boston lettuce here. This one's a little smaller. Once we pull them out of the rails, then we'll bring them over to the kitchen for processing. For this step, we're going to take the lettuce and just tear the roots off the bottom and then we'll rinse it just with tap water and then we can store it in a plastic storage container like this just with paper towel on the bottom or you could put it into a bread bag. This part feels a little bit scary because you feel like you're going to break something but it's pretty simple. You just tear the roots off like that and then here's the nip cup. Take that off. And then you just rip this part off. And then there's just a few under leaves that you can take off that are, so usually they're brown. You can just peel those off and then it's ready to go, ready to be rinsed. Okay, so here we're just going to rinse it off. Pretty simple. So for the last step, you're just going to put it in wherever you're planning to store it, um, either in a plastic storage bin with a paper towel just to catch any extra moisture to keep it fresh, or in a plastic bag with a paper towel at the base. And then with this extra stuff like the root plug and the extra leaves, the root plug can be thrown away, um, the extra roots can be thrown away, and then these you can either compost or um, toss also. Sometimes we feed them to ducks because they like lettuce. And then the net cup can just be washed and reused next time. Once it's in the storage container, you can just um, put a cover on it. It's really important that it's covered and not exposed to the air in your fridge because sometimes fridges can freeze lettuce and then it gets a little bit wilty. So just put a cover on and then you can Pop it in the fridge for, uh, at the very least, two weeks. So a lot of times it lasts quite a bit longer than that. Thanks for watching this video. If you're interested in learning more about our hydroponic system or learning how to build one yourself, you can visit our website. It'll be linked in the description below. Thanks.